What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're going back to Gacherik Spin. Yes, indeed. Gacherik Spin fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Home Gnome, and this is actually one of Home Gnome's three prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Home Gnome. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Oh no want to see me react to this is Gacherik Spin, and I hope I pronounced this right, with a song called Kira Kirai. What did he say? Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Let's see, this was posted by Gacherik Spin. Shocking. And the video has 122,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is a full concert, yeah. Uh, full, the Jerex Band Live 2022, uh, star. GGG Premium 2022, so July 2nd, 2022, at, I have no idea. Okay, uh, I was asked to start at 2104, that's where we're at. And I'm supposed to stop at 25.46. Well, <laughs> sometimes I hit that mark, sometimes I don't. We'll have to see how this one goes. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. like minute and a half 
call me crazy, but I was kind of getting Journey vibes. Like Frontiers Journey vibes. Uh, with the instrumentation, the voicings within the instrumentation, the chordal progression, the melodies, the harmonies interacting with the melodies. Uh, purely, purely from an instrumental standpoint, I'm, I'm not talking about vocally, but purely from an instrumental standpoint, I was kind of getting like Frontiers Journey vibes. Really interesting. Really, really interesting. It, it, it definitely had that rock feel, but in a very laid back and softer way. Um, that was interesting. That was definitely interesting. I like I like what was happening there. Uh, vocally, I like the interaction. Uh, vocally, what's happening between Hannah and Angie. Um, Hannah kind of taking the lead here and Angie kind of acting as support on this one, which is interesting. Um, comparatively, to what the one I, the reaction I just did not too long ago to get your spin where I was complimenting Angie for really kind of developing the lead vocal voice, you know, actually developing as a lead vocalist and now we're seeing the exact opposite i understand this is earlier uh this is this is 2022 um but it's interesting to see the progression that's for sure um no so far everything sounds good i, I like i like how it's moving it, it's definitely starting to grow that's for sure uh koga's starting to come in on the on the popping and slapping now uh, the, ener the, the energy is starting to come up a little bit more. The drive starting to come up a little bit more. Um, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this continues to develop. If it if it continues at all, we may this may be the plateau for all I know. I'm not I'm not sure.
Ah, uh, hmm. It had it had its strengths. The the song did have its strengths, but eh, I'm not sure how I feel about the song as a whole, though. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Gacherik Spin with Kira Kirai. This was a request from Home Gnome, and this was actually one of Home Gnome's three prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Home Gnome. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I, 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 I was digging the song, honestly. I, I was digging the song for about the first two, two and a half minutes. After that, I, I hate to say it, folks, but the, the truth of the matter is I got bored. I did. The song became very one-dimensional. It's kind of funny when, when I paused and I felt, I, I, I said towards the end of my pause, I was talking about how the song felt like it was starting to grow, it was starting to grow, and you know, let's see if it continues to grow, or maybe it's going to hit its plateau, and that's going to be as far as we go. It's kind of funny I said that, because that's exactly what happened. It hit a plateau, and it stopped evolving. And for the next three minutes we stayed right there and it was like uh uh yeah well i mean it, here's the thing did they do anything wrong within that plateau no musicianship sounded good um notation sounded really good harmony probably uh, in all honesty the most impressive thing about this song were the backing harmonies it wasn't even so much what hannah was singing from a melodic standpoint it was really what was going on Harmonically in between Oreo and I I think um, I don't know who's doing the other vocal was it Tomo Zo doing the other vocal harmony it might have been um, Whoever was doing the other vocal harmony with Oreo uh, the harmonies they were creating sounded really nice and fit within the context of the song beautifully um, But as far as the song itself goes like I said the first minute minute and a half about I was really kind of getting journey vibes from them and then it started to grow and it started to move and it started to increase in energy and drive and feel and i was like okay let's see if this continues let's see if this goes uh -uh. that's not what happened we came up we hit a plateau and we stayed right there through the rest of the song and i hate to say it folks but i i got i did get kind of bored i i did and as a result i just I personally didn't really enjoy the song all that much as a whole. Um, now, how does that translate to a score? It does translate, and I, not my, not based on my personal feelings, but on the simple fact that we we did come up and then we leveled off, and nothing of interest really happened after that. Now, does that mean it's a bad score that I'm going to give them? No, it's not a bad score. It's 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 definitely in the positives. It's just it's not as high as other songs from Gacherik Spin that have been far more intricate, far more interesting, and had a lot more going for them than this song had. Um, they got higher scores, obviously, than this. But um, I'll, I'll give the score, and you'll you'll see what I mean. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.7. Yeah, 6.7. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? A riot is an ugly thing. And I think that it is just about time that we had one! Okay, first things first, the 6.7. What does that mean? Well, a 6.7 would translate to a pretty good scale rating. So I think overall, it, this is a pretty good song. It would get three out of five stars and a B letter grade. So there you go, 6.7. Pretty good skill rating, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. I, I've already pretty much told you, you know, my reasons for giving this a 6.7. It, 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 it did grow from the beginning all the way up until about the two minute mark. It, it grew and it plateaued, right? It, it grew up to this point, it hit this point, and from here, throughout the rest of the song, that is where we stayed. And it just, 
it never developed any further. It never went anywhere. It just looped after that. And I, I mean, is it bad? No. What they played sounded fine. What they played sounded good. It just got predictable, I, I guess is a, the best way to put it. It's like, oh, we're gonna go back to this again. Okay. Um, no bridge, no, no, no differentiation in feel. Uh, no changing uh, around direction of the song or the energy level of the song. No bringing it up any higher or bringing it back down again. No, it, it stayed level throughout the rest of the song. And I, like I said, it, 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 it got, I hate to say it, but it got boring. It, it did. The first minute, minute and a half was interesting. You know, it was. I, I was sitting there going, okay, I see the growth. I see the entrances of the other voicings. I see, I see the song starting to grow in energy level. Koga's coming in now with the popping and the slapping. Guitar playing is becking a little more active. Piano playing is getting a little more staccato and active as well. It's starting to evolve. That's good. But then we hit that plateau and straight line across. Um, vocally, everything sounded fine. I, I like I said, I dug the I dug the harmonies. Um. Hannah did a nice job taking the lead for the most part on the song. When Angie did do her lead parts, adding the grit and growl in there was nice. Um, but that's all that happened. And it became repetitive. Again, repetitive. And I hate to say it, boring. Um, drumming was solid across the board. I didn't, have anything, I didn't have any problem with anything Yuri was doing. Oreos keyboard playing sounded fine. Koga's bass playing sounded fine. Uh... Tomozo's guitar playing sounded fine. Hannah's guitar playing was a little more sporadic. Uh, she was definitely paying more attention to what she was doing vocally. When she would play, it, it was nice to have her added in. Um, but that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's it, it, there's nothing wrong with the song. It, there, there's nothing bad about the song. It's just I was kind of hoping for more. I, I, I guess maybe it's because my expectations for them are so high. May, maybe that's why, but... I, I just didn't feel like this song really lived up to what they are capable of doing. When you've had your mind blown by these ladies as many times as I've had, I mean, it, you have a level of expectation that's way up here. And when they have a song that's, you know, here, that that's, that's quite the difference. So, did I hate the song? I didn't hate it. I just, I, I, I just became disinterested in it. You know, after about... Seriously, at about the two and a half to three minute mark, I was just like, okay, um, I'm just waiting for this to be over now. So I, I wasn't really thrilled with the song, if I'm being honest, but th that doesn't mean they did a bad job. If they were, trust me, if they did a bad job, we'd be down in the threes, <laughs> threes and twos. Now this is getting a 6.7. It's a pretty good job, but I feel it was a pretty good song overall. That's where we're at. That's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 6.7, which is a pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show. Hope that was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.